Commander Holly plays with friends. Hey, Tweethearts, how's it going? Welcome back. Hey. Oh my gosh, I just want to know what's going to happen. It's so nerve wracking. So in the last yes, episode, we got to make out in the basement. Yes. So that was good. Make out. And the story, the story of Landry is actually really sad. He was just at a bar, and some kid just cursed him. After terrible. punching him. Yeah, the kid like punched him and cursed him. Really rotten luck. He just seemed like a nice, like possibly salary man. He got screwed, and he was in a bad mood. Yeah. And then he got turned into a cat dude. There you go. All right. Cat so dude. We're trying to cat find this kid. Dude. Alone in the world is a little cat dude. Uh, we're worried about him getting hurt because he's a cat. Is your line? Oh, sorry. I hadn't really thought about it, I guess. Uh, oh, sorry. I, I, and thank goodness you're here to put my head back on my shoulders. You're Meow. right, I am. Now give me that bookmark and tell me how to do this dousing thing. What? What are you doing? I'm coming with you, of course. Let me do it. N no, no. You don't have to come. I don't want you doing everything for me. Just put me down. Oh. I can take care of it. Meow, meow. I'm gonna shake you until look until the bricks in your head come loose. We're in this together, and I'm here to help you. There's like someone who's like calling animal abuse in the mm -hmm. street. Now I'll let you do the dousing thing, but you have to let me tag along. I don't care about my shift or whatever. I'm not going anywhere until you get your stuff worked out. His ears flatten, and he looks down at the ground. Looking both conflicted and defeated, neither of us say anything for several moments. Thankfully, he sighs and looks back up. Good, my arms are getting tired. Okay, you win. Let's go together. I douse, you follow. But you're going to have to put me down first. Oh, look at his face. <laughs> mew, mew. <laughs> oh, yeah. I set him on the ground, and he trots over to pick up the bookmark in his teeth. He looks up and holds it in front of himself. Isn't it gross to carry stuff around in your mouth like that? Doesn't it taste gross? It occurs to me about a second later that he can't answer with it in his mouth. He makes a sound like mm -hmm, and trots ahead. Of course I follow and follow and follow some more. Alley after alley, street after street, he saunters along and I shuffle behind. Once in a while his ears perk up and I see a brief glimmer on the bookmark. Before I can even say anything, it's already gone and he's back to walking. We've gone in circles a few times, and it's starting to get late. How long have we been doing this? Ah, oh, I'm yawning. I'm so hungry, and my feet are starting to hurt. I'm sure he's not enjoying this either. Landry, are you really sure we should keep doing this? We can try again tomorrow after work. Landry shakes his head and makes a little noise. I think he's starting to lose his patience, too. He sets the bookmark down and glances over his shoulder to me. I told, I told you- Oh, this is you. I told you. It's okay. You can go back if you want, but I'm gonna keep going. And I told you I'm not going to stop until you do. Well, tell you what. We could take a dinner break, then get back to it. Yeah, sounds good to me. Want to go back to the cafe? Sure. Let me just grab the... <gasps> Someone walks past us, the first person we've seen in like an hour or two. Once they've passed, they seem to pick up their pace. Head down and head down all the while. They're wearing headphones, but the music they're listening to is loud enough to leak into the air around them. I look down to say something to Landry, but he's frozen. Our gaze falls to the bookmark. It's glimmering. Avery, do, do you see that? It's him. Holy crap, now what? D go get his attention. Oh, okay. Hey! I run after the kid and tap him on the shoulder. Hey, excuse me, hey! He rips the headphones off his head and whirls around to stare me in the face. The hell do you want? Uh, we've been looking for you. My friend needs to talk to you. I don't know any of your crappy friends. Right, Leave me alone. Douche. What his shirt just says Road, Road Street. Road okay, Street. that's my favorite band. <laughs> you do though, it's important. Buzz off. He's the guy you cursed. The kid lifts his head and looks me in the eye. He's about my height, even though he's a lot younger than me. I thought I smelled magic around here. Want to start something? Because I'm not afraid to fight. I'll curse you too. Look, I'm not here for a fight. I just want you and my friend to talk this out. <laughs> like I give a rat's ass. Huh. I've cursed so many people, I don't even know who they are. <laughs> wow. What a brat. I can see why Landry lost his temper. Though from the look of it, it seems like he's losing his temper right now. It's hard to tell because his face doesn't show it, but his body's gone stock still. Then you are a menace. What? Uh, uh, wait, who, who said that? D did you use your weak-ass magic to change your voice to threaten me? 
Hey, my magic isn't weak, and I like my voice the way it is. Down here. Landry steps in front of me, right up to the kid, and sits down to look up at him with narrow eyes. What the hell? Who are you? Why are you a cat? From the bar, I saw through your disguise, and we got in a fight. I punched you in the face, and you ruined my life. Oh, oh, you're the crappy adept. You caused me a lot of trouble that day, jackass. Oh, so he must have had magic too? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he saw him. Uh, what's the matter? You pissed off another witch? You double curse now? Hell, I want to punch this kid too. Seems like em tempting to give him the give him the business, but this is Landry's struggle, not mine. Landry is restraining his anger so hard I'm worried he might pop a blood vessel. I'd hold his hand for support, but he doesn't really have any of those right now. I ain't got nothing else to say about it. Well then, bye, idiot. The bratty witch turns to leave, but Landry rushes between his legs and stands in front of him. Do you know how much you've put me through? I could die. You tried to kill me. If I died, that blood would be on your hands. I had to get the counter curse to keep myself safe. And that's why I look like this now. All because you weren't trying to sneak- all because you were trying to sneak into a bar? So tell me, are you proud of yourself? This could get ugly if he keeps going like this. I hold my hand up to say something to mediate, but the kid interrupts before I can. He just starts laughing. It's an ugly, loud laugh. <laughs> and I get the impression he's half doing it for show. What an idiot! A freaking moron! Wait, what is this? Is this guy like, like the rude YouTube comment embodied? <laughs> You think I was trying to kill you? Is your brain the size of a cat's too? Wh what? Dude, I put a freaking heartburn hex on you. It was gonna wear, wear, wear off in like an hour. You seriously got some witch to counter curse you because of that? What a dumbass. Maybe I should curse you again, for real this time. Or maybe I'll give you a head cold. Not like you oh could no, tell. Oh no, poor Landry. I can't believe- Uh oh. It's like a tire blowing out or an earthquake. The ground shakes, a shockwave hits the building beside us, and the windows shatter in succession like lines of dominoes. Glass explodes everywhere and I duck to cover my head. When I look up, I see the kid looking like the devil himself erupted from the- I see the kid. Wait, when I look up, I see the kid looking like the devil himself erupted from the what? ground to come what? come for him. When I turn my head, I see he's not wrong. Oh, Landry just turned into a person. You want to play? Great. Let's do it. The voice booms around us. It sounds uh, glowy, like there's more to it than what I've come to know as Landry. He's crackling like lightning coats his body. I've never seen anything like this before. Is this his magic? Maybe this time you'll learn something oh. when I'm done with you. Landry stomps his foot next to the kid. The asphalt beneath crunches like he stepped on an ice in March. I can see the kid crying. I feel bad for him. This is too much. I try shouting at him. My voice fails. I, I don't know what you want from me. What do you want? I want you to understand what it feels like to get terrorized by magic. Not a great feeling, is it? Stop it! Landry, stop! Before I realize what I'm doing, my legs are moving, pumping as fast as they can, and I'm between them. I put my hands on Landry's chest to hold him back. My hands tingle when they touch him. I look into the cold fury burning in his eyes. He isn't looking at me, he's looking through me at the kid. You're scaring me! Is this what you wanted? To terrorize some poor scene? Was that your plan? His eyes soften, but the glow remains. Energy crackles against my fingers. I hate how it feels. Just stop it and calm down. This isn't like you. You're not that kind of person. You're a good, kind person, Landry, not a bully, so just stop it. Then who's gonna stop him? He's the one causing problems for everyone, and I have to stop it before he hurts someone else! No, you don't. It's not your responsibility. And even if it is, this isn't how to do it. I curl my fingers into his shirt and step closer. My hair is starting to rise from the static. I can feel it all over my body. He tenses beneath my hands, but I feel some of the awful energy begin to dissipate. Please just calm down, okay? He's just a kid. Breathe. <sighs> he takes a deep, shaky breath, and I feel the crackling vanish. I hear sniffles and choked sobs behind me, but one step at a time. <laughs> uh, 
Avery, I I'm sorry. I'm not the one who needs an apology. I push away, then walk over to the kid and offer my hand. But Landry stops me by putting his hand on my shoulder. He leans down and pulls the kid up instead. Look, this isn't how I wanted this to go at all. I came here to apologize for punching you, not to do more of it. Am I supposed to give a- That's the kid. Yeah, I know. Oh. Oh, come on. After all that, you're still doubling down? Give us something to work with here. Look, kid. Kaz. My name is Kaz. Please call me that. Kaz, sorry. We spent all day looking for you. You studied magic for this. At least hear us out. You didn't need a study, but okay, whatever. Kaz, I'm really sorry. I feel like from what I've seen, you're probably having a tough enough time of it without some weirdo adults coming in and messing up your stuff. But uh, with all the sneaking into places where you shouldn't be and using magic like that, feels like you're in a bad spot. Am I wrong? That's none of your damn business, dude. That's fair. But I think I know how you feel. I'm not going to push it because I've already made enough of a mess. But if you want to come and get a free lunch and talk it out, meet me at the cafe where I work. Don't hold your breath. It's a... It's called a cat's paw. It's a cat cafe. <laughs> Why cats? Dogs are way better. I I, I kind of agree. Oh, Landry likes dogs. <laughs> Please oh, no. don't tell anyone I work. <laughs> don't tell anyone. I work. Avery. <laughs> well, whatever. I don't really give a damn. Maybe I'll come by and wreck the place. So edgy. <sighs> I sort of feel like you won't. <laughs> You'll see, won't you, you loser? And with that, Kaz bursts into a run and disappears around the corner. As soon as Kaz is out of sight, Landry heaves a big sly and slumps over against my shoulder. He's not a cat anymore. He's heavy, but I certainly don't want him sitting down on broken glass, so I just wrap my arms around his waist. I screwed that up so bad. <sighs> I'm gonna have to pay that store to replace their windows. And now this kid probably is probably more messed up. And now you're mad and... Landry, I'm not mad, and none of that is stuff that can be fixed. That can't be fixed. Not the end of the world, okay? People mess up, people get angry. If anything, it was probably worse because you'd bottled up for so long. Yeah, it definitely was. You did the best you could once you got your stuff back together. You just have to pick up the pieces of whatever broke and move on. Yeah. Maybe he'll come by the cafe. Maybe we can have a real talk. I hope he doesn't stop by while Reese is working. That's a clash I would never... I would leave nothing but a smoking, cra smoking crater. God, you're right. Well, I guess we'll have to go make sure to deal with it if that happens. He laughs nervously for a second <laughs> and then pulls me closer. I can feel his heartbeat against my ear. <laughs> Avery, I can't think But he's not a enough. cat anymore and no one's addressed this. I can't thank you enough. If you hadn't been there. Don't worry about it, okay? It's over. How can I ever repay you for everything you've done to me? Sex. Well, I can think of one way. Look at her face. <laughs> oh? I try to ignore the glass crunching under my feet as I get up on my tiptoes to kiss him. Damn. But he's not a cat. Did he break his own curse? Maybe. I'm walking... I'm walking on the sun with the stars on my shoulders and the wind in my hair, or some other complicated metaphor. I don't know. I've been so happy lately. It's great. I mean, work is still work and mochi is still mochi, but I got a real cute crush I can spend my time with, and I'm starting to get to the bottom of this magical curse thing. Even though the curse has been broken, Landry and I... Oh, I guess it, he did break his own oh. curse. Landry and I spend most of our time at the cafe. I mean, I had a feeling he'd be spending all his free time at work anyway. He seems like that type. He says it's to earn an extra pay for the windows he blew out on that store. I've offered to help, but he keeps turning me down. I think he's doing the work as some kind of penance. We don't spend all of our time here, of course. Turns out he's got a very nice apartment. I guess Graves is good for something, because it's... In great shape, he must have been diligent about keeping it up. I'm glad my curse never developed. I wouldn't want him going through my stuff. I haven't seen Graves around the past couple of days either way, so I guess it doesn't matter. He's not going to show up while we're cuddling and watching TV or something, right? <laughs> Ew. 
You know who I have seen? Kaz. He thinks he's sneaky, but yesterday I caught him peeking around the alley at the cafe. I'm sure he'll come in sooner or later. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Right now, I'm more concerned with whether or not Landry's ever going to finish this ramp thingy. It's late, and I want dinner. Landry! He doesn't answer. He's in the zone. Landry! Landry! I chant his name like I'm egging him on on a dare. He finally looks up. <laughs> Something wrong? I'm hungry! Let's get dinner. <laughs> I'm gonna have a late night here, I think. I might eat something from the kitchen and get back to work. You can stay if you want, but... Nope, no thanks. I gotta go check on Mochi anyway. I'll come over after I'm done, okay? If you don't mind, of course. Of course I don't mind. I better get going before Mochi finds his way here instead. <laughs> All right. I give him a quick kiss, then gather my stuff and head out. It's way later than when I usually leave. Usually the sun's still peeking out through the city skyline, but tonight the moon's already high. Back home, the crickets won't be chirping. Oh, crickets will would be chirping full force right now. They get super noisy this time of year. Car noises echoed from the main roads. Uh, from the, echoing from the main roads are close enough. I can see Landry's broad back leaning against the cafe window. If he isn't if he isn't done in an hour or two, I'll have to come back and drag him out. I hope he's doing this because he wants to, and not because he's still trying to bury himself in work. He seemed happier lately, like he's had a weight lifted from his shoulders. Still, I think he feels guilty about breaking the curse before everyone else did. I think he's been trying to make it up to everyone else these past couple days, though I'm not even sure they've figured it out yet. We're gonna tell them soon, of course. I'm not trying to hide or anything, just gotta figure out how to break their curses. I hope whatever it takes, it isn't as stressful it isn't as stressful as Landry's. I don't know if I can take four more magic explosions. I think about it for the whole walk home. As I round the corner, I feel a tense, creeping stiffness crawl up my back. My steps slow, my legs are suddenly heavy. This is familiar, like the feeling I got the other day before I ran into that dude who kept staring at me. It's like someone's breathing down my neck or looming behind me, reading over my shoulder. Is someone following me? I whip around. Just the street. I walk faster. I feel it growing with every step towards my apartment. Dread hollows a burrow in my stomach. Why do I feel so anxious? I'm just going home. I don't even have far to go. Am I getting... S oh. Oh, no. Oh, why is he a baseball bat? It's him. Did, I, did he find out where I live? Does he live here, too? No, that's too much of a coincidence. My limbs freeze. I feel my heart shaking inside my ribcage. My head is swimming. Everything is wrong. I can't place why. Howdy. <laughs> it's high noon. <laughs> <laughs> it's high noon. <laughs> I say howdy. <laughs> um, good evening. Good night. My voice feels small and foreign, like it's thrown by a ventriloquist. I try to beeline for the door, but he sidesteps and blocks my way. Now, now. Why the hurry? Why won't you an won't you answer a couple of questions, kiddo? His deep drawling voice is sat is saccharine venom. He puts on a smile, but it's certainly not one that puts me at ease. Uh huh. Do you need directions? You seem lost. I can't keep the tremor out of my voice. He notices. Well, ain't you smart? Right to the point. Why, yes, I am lost, but I ain't looking for a place. Oh, oh I found that. Looking for a guy. Think you can help? Uh, I'm pretty new to the city. I can't. I reckon you can. Suppose I shouldn't mince words. You're a busy person. I'm already feeling guilty wasting your time. Why is he holding a baseball bat? I'm trying to hunt down graves. You seen him? Is he a friend? He can't be. He feels... See, I've been looking all over for my old buddy. And it's like he don't exist. Ain't that a shame. Ho oh, ho, yeah, I haven't seen him either. Anger flashes over his face like an eclipse, vanishing as quickly as it had come. T too bad. We got much to talk about. I suppose his apprentice oh, will no, do. Oh no, apprentice, I'm his apprentice? That'll send him a message. Whoa. Intent, re intent reaches my feet before it hits my ears. I'm running before I know it. Oh no, I'm not dumb enough to stick around and find out what he means by send a message. I don't look behind me to see if he's following. That would slow me down. I have to get to the cafe. I just have to run like I'm being chased, even if I'm not. 
Ping! I hear a sharp noise behind me, like a metal bat hitting a home run. My foot gets stuck. Oh, well, on what? I don't know. But it hits the ground and stays there. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's rust. It's like his powers. The force knocks me over and twists my ankle in a way that shocks pain up my leg. I'm seeing stars and I want to crawl away, but I can't. I gotta speak to Graves about your manners. I didn't know we were Graves' apprentice. Now we have to go back and date Graves because he's a wizard. Okay. Didn't even excuse yourself. What a rude little kid. Oh no. I look down. My foot is covered in rust. Rust? His movement is molasses, like he's enjoying a stroll through the park. I crane my head over my shoulder to see him, but it's hard from this angle. If you'd been polite, you wouldn't need to fight. Didn't want to hurt you, kitten. I only need a couple of answers. But if you want a duel, I ain't gonna complain. Promise you won't run away, yeah? I won't play dirty if you don't. I don't think I could break this rust without breaking my ankle off. It feels like it's already broken. Tears sting my eyes. No, don't cry! I can barely use my magic to make trash sculptures. How am I supposed to use it in a fight? I'm doomed. You haven't changed a bit, Noct. Noct? Noct, like Noct. that's the German word for night. Oh, still pushing around the weak to excuse your own mouth. <laughs> what was that I'm, word? Mouth, I, I didn't know. Malf- malfeasance? I, malfeasance, sure. Like, evilness. sure. I've never been so happy to hear my boss's voice. Graves! Graves will know what to do, I know it. <laughs> Here you come, acting like you ain't got anything to do with it. Gonna get me all nostalgic, old man. From out of nowhere, Graves is already next to me. He kneels down and places a hand on my foot. What's he holding? Are you hurt? Don't move. This may burn a little. A sensation washes over my rusted foot like stepping in a puddle of battery acid. Oh. Well, maybe that's a bit extreme. It burns, but it doesn't hurt. Rust crumbles to dust and I'm free. I flex my ankle. It doesn't feel that great, but I can at least put weight on it now. He's got a sword! (gasps) Graves stands between me and Nacht with a flourish only Graves could accomplish. He pulls a sword from his cane. What a perfect weapon for him. Yeah, that's true. Nacht shoves his hand in his pocket and rests on his metal bat like a cane. Shit got anime as fuck. I know, just standing there waiting. So anime! How are you now? Can you stand unassisted? Uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, who is that? If you recall the bike in that alley. Oh, I almost forgot. The one that was rusted over. The one Graves told me not to touch. This is why? Meet the source of our collective woes. Ah, come on now. And after all, we've been through together. Avery... I don't imagine this will end well. I have a favor to ask. Well, whatever you need, boss. He drops the cane sheath and takes my hand. His eyes are fierce, fire and ice, staring into mine. I feel like I shouldn't blink. I give it to you. All of it. Take care of it for me, Avery. What, the shop? What, what, all of what? Everything. Everything everything of mine you'll understand now go what as fast as you can go to the cafe <laughs> which is right behind us like literally just I to your yeah, right. right there <laughs> yeah you can just watch from the window <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you'll be safe there watching the fight what was all that about I don't feel any different uh why are you dawdling go oh no I don't know what we should do. Well, we can't fight. I don't know. I mean, we get to keep his apartment, so fuck yeah, let's run away. No, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> it's a nice apartment. Um, I don't know, stay and help. Or I feel bad if we don't help. Well, we know a bit of magic, right? Oh man, predicaments, 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 predicaments. I'm checking my list. I don't think because now it doesn't. Yeah, we can do anything now. Well, let's let's stay and help. Fuck it. I mean, yeah. Well, I like Graves yeah, in a kind of weird way. Yeah, I'm not gonna let him die to this jerk with a baseball bat. Yeah, I'm gonna let's stay do and it. help him. No, I know magic too, and I'm not gonna let you fight this creep by yourself. Avery, you aren't ready for this. Just go. Ping. 
The bat hits the ground. I don't have time to register what's happening before I'm face first on the asphalt. Graves kneels down above me. His legs and his right arm are coated in rust. He's stuck to the ground. I told you to run. Graves seems the, swings the sword at Nock, but it's easily dodged. If only I knew that spell that Graves used to dissolve the rust. Maybe I can muddle through. It's worked with everything else so far. I throw my hands up around his leg. Avery, don't! <laughs> Too easy. Always knew you'd get dropped because no! of your strays. What's wrong with my hands? Are they rusty? It's spreading. No! Oops. Uh, mm, can we... Oh, no. Maybe we should have ran. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> we don't have any saves. <laughs> we ruined everything. Is that it? I hope not. What the fuck? <laughs> Did we just we got, die? We got an achievement for dying, I Did think. Did we just die? What? Did we just die? We just wanted to help! We know magic! This sucks. All right, here we are, we're back oh, here. We're back, we're back, okay. So I have a feeling that maybe if you dated Graves, like you learned more magic and can fight uh, oh, with Oh yeah, yeah, you can probably take but the fight. But we didn't know enough magic and therefore we We got died. fucking we killed. We literally just died. So we're gonna run away. Yeah. Goodbye, good luck yeah, goodbye. with that. Goodbye. Don't you worry, kitten. I'll catch up. <laughs> Knocked words haunt me as I run the best I can on my sore ankle. Hurts with every step, but I can't stop. I almost make it to the cafe before I have to stop. My ankle hurts more with every step. I can't do it anymore. I see the lights as I approach. Landry's still here, I hope. It's only then that I realize I have no idea what his number is. I never had to call his cell or anything. Crap, crap, crap. I gotta do something to get his attention. I ask to stop for a breather. I lean against the old- The door is machine. right there! And then I get an idea. That's magic, whatever. I got enough change for a soda. I scoop it up before it hits the bottom of the machine. I give it a good shake and focus all my magic into it and lob it as hard as I can towards the cafe. I know it's not gonna reach the door, I'm not that athletic, but this, but that's not what I need to, need it to do. The can hits the ground and explodes with a pop. Sparks fly like illegal fireworks. It worked! I was worried I was gonna, uh, missed it. I was too excited. Landry notices and comes out to investigate. Thank God Nock didn't get here first. What the heck? Is this a prank? Kaz, is that you? Landry! A Avery? What the heck? I need your help. I twisted my ankle. Someone's coming. What? Avery, oh my gosh! He bounds towards me, covering the distance between us in no time at all. Are you okay? Did you slip or something? Never mind that. Help me get inside. Hurry, he's coming. What? Who's coming? I mean it. Hurry, it's knocked. Uh, okay. He effortlessly lifts me in his arms. I wrap my hands around his neck and he hurries back to the cafe. I could get used to this. <laughs> I'll ask him to pick me up some other time under better circumstances, but it's not the time for that right now. I wrap my arms tighter around him. A Avery, I, I can't breathe. Oh, sorry. I let go and he gently sets me on the couch. He's already fussing over my ankle. I'm glad you're still here. I don't know what I would have done if he'd caught up. If who caught up? Were you being chased? Yeah, it's this guy, knocked, attacked me, and Graves. Graves fought him off, so I ran. He's the one who hurt you? I feel static run up my spine. I think it's from Landry? I don't know. The light goes out of his eyes. Oh, he's mad. I didn't mean that metaphorically, like there's actual static. He's like a lightning rod when he's mad. I can feel the hairs on my neck raising. Hope the windows hold out. I twisted my ankle trying to get away. I mean, I guess I got caught up in his magic. I don't know. Oh crap, I shouldn't have said anything about magic. He's already halfway out the door. No, Landry, come back! Graves will take care of it! I don't want you getting hurt, too! This is like talking to an electrically charged brick wall. I'll go see what's happening. Will you be okay here? I guess I can't fight against anime, so goodbye. No, just stay here, I don't want to be alone! Also, you die if you go there, because yeah, we- please, Landry, come sit down with me. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, I got worked up. Let's just, let's just stay here for a bit. I want to lock the door and take a few minutes to catch my breath, okay? Yeah, you're right. At least he's calmed down enough to stop crackling. I'll get the door. And I'll let me. I want to try my foot again. Holy crap, now that I've had a few minutes to let everything catch up, my ankle hurts like hell. I try to hobble to the door, but it flies open before I have the chance. I ready myself to fight a murderer armed with a bat, but it's... Finley? You guys! Oh my god! The curse! 
She grabs my hands and does a little dance, but stops when I wince in pain. Oh, sorry, sweetie. You okay? Did you twist your ankle? Yeah, uh, what's this about the curse? It's broken! We're all human again! Face. Like, of course, I'll miss my jelly donut fame, but I'll live. Oh, I'll start a new vlog. I... Oh, what's wrong? You look real messed up about it. It's Graves. The curse must have broken because something happened to him. Graves? What? What happened? Where is he? And suddenly everyone is here. The curse must have broken for everyone at once. This should be good news, but... Oh, Reese. It's bad. He's still out there, I think. St still out where? He lunges, but Mace Mason intercedes. Stop. She's injured. What What happened to him? What? Do you have to tell me what happened. Someone attacked us. I have no idea who he was, but he had a grudge against Graves. His name was Noct, I think. I don't know who that is, but what happened to him? This Noct guy, I think he beat Graves. Reese clutches at his chest. He looks like he might fall over and pass out. I reach out to ease him to the seat, but he swats me away. I knew it. I knew he was going to get in over his head. I knew another witch was on his tail, but he told me to stay out of it. Damn it! Could have helped! Why didn't he let me help? Reese sinks into the couch and slams the armrest with his fist. Beating on furniture isn't going to do anything, but if that helps him feel better... He sinks his fingers into the cushion and looks hard at the floor. His eyes gloss over. He's holding back tears with everything he's got. I feel really bad. For all his blustering, Reese admires Graves a lot. I think he was the only one of us who really did. I guess now, after Graves saved me like that, I kind of do too. Too little too late, I suppose. So now what happens? What do we do? We avenge him. <laughs> of course. We kill Nak. Whoa, whoa, that's a bit extreme. All's fair in a duel. If that's what the guy wants, that's what he'll get. For the cafe. I'll take it back for him. Come on, for the cafe? Why would he do that? When a witch defeats another in a duel, they take the loser's property. But he'll have to beat me to get it. Is Graves really dead? I don't know if Nock's intent was to kill him. Damn it! Landry looks like he's about to go off again. I grab his hand and give it a good squeeze. He stares back to himself. I, I know what you're going to say. Sorry. No, I think you're right this time. This magic is dangerous. I think we're in over our heads. Hayes re readies himself with wide eyes, his mouth pursed like the conversation is a game of double dutch played with live wires. What is it? Uh. Why does everybody keep talking about magic? Does he not even know? W was Graves cursed too? He must have been, right? It all sounds so unreal still. Are you sure it's magic? Of course it is. <laughs> How else would this be happening? But he was too strong to get cursed. That part was just us. But he wasn't too strong to not curse us. What does it matter now? He's gone. And this Noct is gonna be here soon to take everything else too. He spits the name like it's profane. Reese launches himself from the chair and storms to the door. He puts his hands in his pocket like he's concealing a weapon. How would he just take the cafe? It's not like property. That's not how property works. There are like deeds and stuff. Not that I know much about it, but that, I mean, I'm pretty sure my parents didn't kill a witch to buy their house. <laughs> of course it's more complicated. I don't exactly have time to explain witch territories. Just know that when you're defeated in a duel, you give up your property to the winner. So unless Graves gave it all away right before the fight, Nact owns the cafe now. I remember Graves grabbing my hand and staring through me. I remember his words. I, I think he did. What? Before he fought... Before he told me to run away, he told me that he gave everything to me. Y oh, you? no. Why you? You're a newborn baby stumbling through the witching world. That's not fair. You can't handle it. Well, maybe we're jumping to conclusions here. I think some of us should go and find out what happened. Maybe it's a coincidence. The curse broke. I really don't think it would be. But still, we're just giving up on graves too quickly when he... That we haven't seen proof of for ourselves. We should confirm. Reese, would that make you feel better? If on a slim chance you were right, obviously. 
And if not... Landry and Reese seem so ready to fight. I'm a bit worried for them. Why don't you come with me? Nobody should go out alone. We can't watch for our, out for each other. You read my mind. What if Noct is on his way here? What will we do? You can't go through me. Oh, he said he can. He can go through me. It looks like me. Yeah, and angry you. <laughs> I'm like, ah! She cracks her knuckles and positions herself in front of the door. Wow, I'm so glad to have all these bruisers on my side. He said he'd come after me. What if he's waiting in my apartment? What about Mochi? Ah, don't worry, kiddo. I can rescue your kitty. Uh, give me your keys and I'll be back before you even know it. What? No, it's too dangerous. You can't do it. I've played all the stealth games. You oh my God. have no idea how good I am at sneaking. Dot, dot, dot. Metal Gear Solid! Guys, I'm just... I'm just some screwed up kid. You don't have to do this for me. Of course we do. Yeah! You're our screw up kid! I mean, we stick together through thick and thin! Us cursed cats! Tears of gratitude sting my eyes. I never thought I'd have friends like this who'd endanger themselves for me. My high school friends would have run off the moment someone said curse. I love these guys. I vigorously scrub my face. Don't want to get too mushy. I hobble back to the couch. Okay, we can do this, right? Yeah! Yeah, yeah. Promise me nobody's gonna get hurt, okay? Please. Give us more credit than that. Yeah! This guy's gonna be sorry he underestimated us! Then we enact our plans. Reese, Landry, and Finley all head out together. It's so weird to see them walk away from the cafe as humans. Hayes vanishes into the bathroom for the first aid kit. Mason dips into the kitchen, and I hear a horrific screeching noise like metal against linoleum. What is she doing? She returns triumphantly. She smirks at me, or more accurately, at the dumb, gawking face I'm making. Lock the door. With what? An industrial range? She gives me this self-satisfied smirk, then paces in front of the door and windows like a sentry. Oh my god, who needs magic? She can snap that knock die in half with her hands. Hayes is back with bandages and a big bag of ice. Gingerly removes my shoe and rolls up my pants leg to get a better look at my ankle. I'm glad I'm wearing socks that don't have holes. Ugh, my ankle doesn't look great, but it could be a lot worse. I don't think it's sprained, just twisted. Oh good. You need rest. He slowly, neatly wraps my ankle with one of the stretchy bandages. When he pins it in place, it's like a pro's work. A professional ankle wrapper? Do you know a lot about first aid, Hayes? You're way calmer than I expected. Uh, I studied in scouts. Injuries and things don't bother me. Never have. Not everything makes me feel anxious. <laughs> eh. That's weird. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you. Uh, I'm glad you're here to patch me up. He smiles sheepishly, but averts his gaze to the ground towards the ice pack. He props my foot up on one of those big puffy orange ottomans, then places the ice on my ankle. Oh my god, does that feel good. Now just keep it elevated and rest a little. And take the ice off uh, in 20 minutes. Thanks again, Dr. Hayes. <laughs> I'm gonna go make some coffee. I think everyone will need it. I stress nap once Hayes goes back upstairs. Sometimes I need a system shutdown before I can think straight again. I think even the cats know something's up because they all swarm me. I've got two in my lap and the others pile around me. It's soothing to hear them and feel their little paws stretch out at me. I hope it's helping them too. Not that I sleep well. Every time I start to nod off, I spook myself with some new horrific way that Nock could defeat Landry. I hope he's okay. I hope he didn't do anything stupid. My heart hurts thinking about it. Uh, oh. I want him to come back so this can be over. I tell myself it'll be okay, but it rings hollow. He's an adept or something, isn't he? I bet he could blow up a again and scare Knocked off, I hope. I hope Landry doesn't see him at all. I shoot awake when they hear the door fly open. Is it knocked? Did he come back through the front door? Can witches come in uninvited, or is that vampires? Oh, it's Finley again. She, bounce she bounces the door against her hip, since her hands are full of cat carrier. The fussy lump inside is unmistakable. Wow, you are so whiny. Oh, sorry. Wow, you are so whiny! Don't steal my lines, bitch! Uh, hold your pants on, baby! What? Mochi! Did you have any trouble? Is everything okay? It's fine, though. I had to lure him into the carrier with treats, and he hated every moment of it being there. 
Aw, so same as always. That's good. How about it? Should we uh, unleash the beast? Meh. Yes, please. Mochi, if you cause any trouble with the other cats, you're going right back in. Got it? Like, he's going to choose now to start <laughs> start listening. Finley opens the carrier and he shoots out like a furry cannonball. <laughs> Then he stands there, dumbstruck. Mm. He's got his own troubles now and playing nice with the cafe cats, but at least he's here. That's one less thing Noct could use against me. I see movement in front of the cafe, is it? No. There's too many people for it to be Noct. Anyway, I'd know that hat anywhere. It's Reese and Landry back already with Graves, or whatever used to be Graves. Now he looks like a forgotten statue, flaking bits of rust off as they haul him up the, on the sidewalk. Uh, are their hands glowing? I squint to get a better look. Oh, they look like garden gloves? Glowing garden gloves? They set Graves in front of the cafe and then come inside. Reese peels his gloves off, then helps Landry with his. Nobody touch him, unless you're properly enchanted. The rust spreads easily. Are you going to leave him out there? He looks like a huge, ugly yard gnome. Not that I'm going to say anything. We can't risk the cats coming over no. to investigate. Oh, no. oh, we can't risk the cats coming over to investigate. They might touch the rust, and uh, Reese said it could spread to them, too. I can take him upstairs. Dracula. I, I can't take him upstairs. It. Dracula would be at risk. Poor Dracula. It's I know she'll be heartbroken. So, what do we do now? Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time. Meow. I like birds. You like birds. I like birds. So click on that little bird. I like birds. You like birds. So click on that little bird to become a tweet.